Former SimGuru and senior producer for The Sims 4, SimGuru Duke, is apparently already getting to work on a new game with his own studio. Before we go ahead and get started though, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation info videos, as well as things related to it like this, the comings and goings, and also Paralyze. And occasionally I also cover Sims 5 speculation and leaks, although hopefully we will not have something like that for a while. So today we are talking about Sim Guru Duke. Now when he left, there was a lot of speculation, including on my channel, as to why he left and people were worried that they were laying off the Sim Gurus. But as it turns out, maybe he has something better in mind and something he's been planning and a reason why he left EA in the first place. So today we're going to be looking at his new exciting project. We're going to be looking at the team members that are involved in this and questioning whether something really exciting like a new life simulator or at least another really good game could come out of this. So let's go ahead and take a look. This news comes from The Gamer, and the title says, Sims 4 Creative Director announces new studio Never Forget Games. Several high-profile names from The Sims team are starting a new studio. Ray Mazazi, creative director on The Sims 4, is joining forces with the game developer Wildlife to form a new studio Never Forget Games. The studio will include himself, Michael Duke, and several other high-profile names from around the industry. Mazza is best known for his role as creative director on The Sims. He's also served as lead systems designer for other studios in a popular puzzle game, Merge Dragons. Former senior producer for The Sims 4, Michael Duke, is also joining the team along with Peter Ingretson, lead gameplay engineer for The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. Now this is really exciting right here. We want the company to be the company that honors talented game creators the most and makes it easier and faster for them to create the games that will mark our generation, said Wildlife CEO. We are investing in our publishing infrastructure, enabling developers to concentrate solely on making great games. Wildlife has also made two big executive appointments this week with former Amazon Web Services CFO Jacin Boyle joining the team as COO and Robbie Andrews of Instagram joining as head of publishing. The addition of Sean and Robbie to our executive team brings the experience we need to continue scaling. And so this is very exciting in my opinion. I don't know exactly what it's going to mean, but we're going to actually hop on over to their new website just to get a peek around this whole studio of Never Forget Games and start to speculate what this could entail. This, of course, is the website for Never Forget Games, and honestly, there isn't much to it yet, but I am really excited to explore what there is. So it says, Spread the Joy, Never Forget Games. And if you just click down here, you will see their small, small team. You can click on each of their pictures to learn a little bit more about them. Of course, you know who Michael Duke is, studio director and co-founder of this studio. It says he has a skill level of 16 years, his role is production, engineering, and design, and his passions apparently include running, biking, and crafting cocktails. His favorite game apparently is Zelda a Link to the Past. Oh, gas, not The Sims, but Zelda. And then this one says 18 years role is the design, engineering, and audio. Passions include writing, photography, and nature, and consuming Mike's cocktails. And his favorite game is Super Metro Metroid. Then Peter right here, six, 19 years rather, his role is going to be engineering, design, program art. His passions include gardening, cooking, and board games. And his favorite game is Master of Orion. I feel like I'm on a Bachelor show where I'm reading off the contestants' interests, like walking on the beach. Okay, those are the current team members. I have no idea if we're going to get more team members or not. You can technically inquire them and ask questions. I have considered it, but I, what was I going to say? Hi, I'm Simmer Aaron, and I have an unknown YouTube channel, and I want to know if you're creating a game that I'm going to be interested in covering. I guess I could. You guys can let me know if I should do that. But in case, there's really not anything else to the website right now. So again, this is really in the early stages. 
But I find this really interesting. So a lot of people thought Duke was laid off. I'm thinking Duke actually had this in mind and that Duke wanted to have more creative control over the process. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then I'm going to end with a few more statements. I am guilty, as everyone else, of wanting another simulation game out on the market. I know a lot of people say Paralyze is on its way, but the fact is Paralyze is very in early stage development. I wish them the best, but we just don't know how it's going to turn out yet. I think that more life simulators is actually going to be even beneficial to The Sims. It's not that I don't like The Sims, it's that I want to see it improve. And so that's why I get excited when I see even a possibility of it. Does this mean that anything really dramatic is going to come out of it? Not necessarily, but I think it's pretty dang interesting that we have all these Sims alumni forming their own studio. I know that some people will roll their eyes at this, and I know some people are going to get really excited. As always, I am just going to go into it thinking, I want to keep an eye out on this, just like I want to keep an eye out for Will Wright and what he might be doing as well in the future. I don't know what will happen, but I am glad to see that Sim Guru Duke has found a place that is more suited to his creative desires. My guess, and of course this is just speculation, is that he had this in mind and he actually wanted to leave EA. Maybe he did really like working on The Sims and maybe he just got tired of the constraints that were placed on him. I would at least guess that with a team of three in a smaller studio, they're going to have a lot less resources, but they're also going to have a way more creative control than I think the Sim Gurus currently have in Sims 4. In fact, I think that Sims 4 has a lot of potential, or at least it did when it started, and I think that a lot of that potential has been really killed by EA's control. Now, do I have any direct evidence of this? I don't have direct evidence, but just looking at past interviews and some things I've covered in the past with my EA investigation videos, it is my best guess that that is part of the reason that Sims 4 sometimes feels limiting. Of course, this video is not to bash on Sims 4 or to say that I hate the Sims franchise. Again, I just am always interested in discovering new games. They might not ever create a life simulation game, but gosh, I really hope someone does. Someone in the past to me has mentioned that Paradox would be also a good candidate to create a life simulator game. So you guys can let me know in the comments below also if there was another company to take on The Sims, or not to take it on so much, is just add another alternative and kind of push them to be better, what do you think it'd be? Who do you think it would be? And who would you not want to see take it on? I know that's a lot of questions, but I'm a teacher and I tend to ask lots of questions. So, of course, I thought this was really exciting just because I'm curious and I like to know what happens to people after they leave a job, especially because he was in such a high-level position. I think it was a shock to a lot of us and some people thought, oh, The Sims is dying. I think that some people are getting tired of working under those creative constraints. Again, just my personal opinion, no solid evidence to back it up. Let me know what you think about all this news that I personally consider exciting. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!